Hey y'all, what's up? You doing a live in your room? Yes, I am. I'm I'm already live. Alright, I'm gonna go for a walk for you. Okay, bye. How's it going? My crazy hair. I just had my hair in a bun all morning because I took this dance class. Well, it wasn't even really a dance class. It was like... <laughs> hey, Ethan. It wasn't really a dance class. It was a like fitness class, and I am literally deceased right now. Like my, like my butt and my legs are like shaking like this. <laughs> um, trust. But yeah, it... It kind of does look like I curled it, but I really didn't. I literally just sweat in a bun. That's really gross, but I'm, yeah. So if you want this look, um, <laughs> you just sweat. Trust. Um, no, I didn't cut my hair the other day. Like, um, like three days ago, I got a like conditioning thing because I used to dye my hair brown for the show that I was in. So since then my hair's kind of been like damaged a little bit. So they um they condition my hair so it looks different cuz it just looks like softer, I guess. I don't know. Hi Sean, I already miss you too. So my cousins were here from New Jersey for like 10 days and we did all these things in LA and it was so much fun and they just left um 2 days ago. Has it already been 2 days? Wow. Yeah, so filming zombies was so much fun. Um, I, I don't even know where to start. It's really funny how, like, when you work on a project with people, you really become a family. I was just talking about this with my friend Bibi yesterday. It's kind of like, like, once you work with someone for so long, like, the in Hollywood, like, how you become close with people is just working with them. Because that's how, like, relationships just last so long. We're like a family, like the zombie family is like a family. Hey, Mickey, I miss you so much. Um, Cause it's just an experience. Like you're learning together, you're growing up together. I definitely grew up so much during the zombies experience. And um, just, I don't know, just like basically like we were living in like the same building together. And like my parents were there with me, but it just felt like I was living with all these amazing people. And I don't know. It was a great experience. <laughs> hey, Caitlin. I have your contact cases. <laughs> Trust. I miss you more. This one piece of hair. I can't. <laughs> Oh, everything's so good. Um, what's new with you, Mickey? Okay, I'm going to FaceTime you soon, and then we'll catch up. Hi, Jalene. Are they 4.5? It says 3. This one says 3.5, and then this one says 2.5. <laughs> Not really sure how contacts work. Wow, well, that was a failure. Mm. So Zombies just premiered in um, South America, which is so cool. Um, I hope everyone there loves it. Because that would be cool. And... Um, Recently, it aired in the UK and Ireland as well. Oh. <laughs> ah. You know, I really wish that um, trust. <laughs> I really wish that I took more pictures during zombies because, like, 
I don't know. I feel like I haven't been... I just, like, can't put into pictures or words how much fun I had on Zombies. And, like, I feel... I want to, like, share that with everyone. But, like, I just don't know how. I'll have to figure out a way. I found a way. I found a way. If you open up your eyes. Thanks. It's gonna take you some time. Zombies cast is hella awesome. Yeah, true. <laughs> yes, please post those videos. Oh my gosh. You know what I should do? All of the really funny videos I have, like I have so many. Um, maybe I should make like a collaboration of them. Like just make a collaboration, make a collage of all of them and then post them. Would you guys like that? I don't know, maybe that will give some people some a little insight of, like, how much fun we had. Let me know if I should do that. <laughs> yes? Okay, I will. Okay, cool. I'm going to caption it. Since you guys asked for this, or, like, what do people usually say? Um, like, I'm going to caption it, like, so a lot of you guys been asking, dot, 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 here it is. <laughs> Trust. It's gonna take some time to realize, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so I was with my, um, cousins, and we, for, like, a good half an hour, we just went through all of the like old kid shows that we used to watch and like the theme songs and how like iconic they were and we sang through like all of them it was so good it was so bad <laughs> it was so good hey maddie um let's see other ones or like good luck charlie hang in there baby thing i'm craving i know the future's bright Hang in there, baby, it's a me everything turns out all right. So life is up and down, but trust me, it comes back. Sweet life. Here I am in your life, brr, brr, brr. you are in mine. Guess we have the sweet life. Most of the time, you and me, we got the world to see, so come on down. We and you got the world to see, so come on down. It's you and me, and me and you, we got the whole place to ourselves. Me and you, we got the world to see, so come on down. Burr, 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 this is the sweet life. Burr, 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 burr. We have the sweet life. Burr, 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 burr. I miss you too, Ariana. Oh, Hannah Montana. Ooh! Um. Burr, 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 burr. We get the limo out front. Ooh, oh, oh. Hottest styles, every shoe, every color. When you're famous, it can be kind of fun. Yeah, it's cool, though, the money. No woes. That was the rhythms. All your friends, but on stage, you're a superstar. You get the best of both worlds. Chill it, I'll take it slow. Then you rock out the show. You get the best of both worlds. Mix it all together, and you know that is the best of both worlds. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> there are some other good ones. Mm. Oh, which is a wave of the place. When you write a report on your book, you never write. Let's have your fingers, you can make it bad. That's what I said. Get a banana, na 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 na. Everything is not what it seems when you can get all you wanted at the simplest of means. Be careful not to mention another power of things because everything is not what it seems. Nee, 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 nee. So good. Or what was my favorite? Um... Okay, so it's Hannah Montana. Oh, do you guys feel the future? That was my, that's like kind of older, older, but feel the future or, or, um, Oh, shake it up. 
Shake it up, make a scene, make a scene, nobody can ignore. Gonna rock you to your pocket. <laughs> Dang the lights up, bust the doors down. No, what was, um, wait, fill the future. Oh, life with Derek. Living life with Derek. Nee, 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 nee. Living life with Derek. Living like the but. Forget about you too. That's a twofer. <laughs> Hi, Danny. Hi, Maddie. Zedison. Zedison is real, guys. Zedison is real. Your son loves the song Bam and Someday. That's awesome. I'm so happy for that. What is your guys' favorite part of zombies? Or favorite song? Or just anything? You can ask me anything about zombies and I will answer. Living life with Derek. Living life with Derek. Oh, Phineas and Ferb. Mm. It was 104 days of summer vacation and school comes along just to end it. So the annual problem for our generation is finding a good way to ground it. I may be holding a rocket or finding a mommy or climbing up the Eiffel Tower. Na -na -na -na. Finding something that doesn't exist or giving a monkey a shot. Brown, 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 brown. Stripping tidal waves, creating animals, or locating Frankenstein's brain. It's over here. Fighting a dodo bird. Painting a continent and driving your sister insane. Finish! As you can see, there's a whole lot of stuff to do before school starts this fall. So stick with us, cause Benny is a verb are gonna do it all. So stick with us, cause Benny is a verb are gonna do it all. Ma, Benny is a verb, making a title sequence. Bam! Okay, was that your real hair in the wig or like a fake wig? Okay, here's the stitch. Do, 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 do. There is, so like my hair is naturally this color. And so, I had a half wig like here so if you look hard enough like you can kind of tell the difference even though it like really it like worked really well and so it was like halfway here so it's half my real hair and then like the rest was just like a wig so I literally like had my hair like I had my hair like this so and this was pinned up like that so look at that and it just the reason why we did that is just because it made it easier to do hairstyles because like with an even though it was supposed to be an actual wig you can't really do like cheerleading hairstyles or like complicated hairstyles with like a full wig on without seeing like my real hair um so yeah that's why we did it and then with the white hair when i had to show my white hair we had a full blonde wig as well so we had a half one and a full one so when i had a I had to wear two wigs at the same time. So like when I had to snatch my wig and stand, I had like a white wig on underneath a full blonde wig and then I had to pull the blonde wig off. And at the very beginning of the movie as well, I had two wigs on. Yeah, when I'm like, hi, I'm Madison and today's my shot at making a Seabrook cheer squad. You make Seabrook and you fit in. Why would I fit in? I'm a totally normal team. That whole part, <laughs> um, I had a white wig on and then like a full one on as well is there a deleted scene of you instead kissing no no there's not we never kissed in the movie sadness you watch zombies seven times i'm a bit obsessed that's amazing i'm so glad when you snatch your wig was it hard to film actually it wasn't that hard to film except i could not get the timing right and the choreographer, um, and the two assistant choreographers, it was Chris, Will, and Alicia. Alicia had to be like, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna stand. Because I had to, like, I had to be turned around. And then, like, on, like, the five or something, I had to do it at the right point where it's like, I'm gonna stand. And I could not get the timing right. So I'd be like, I'm gonna stand. They're like, no. <laughs> it was really funny. Yeah. Living life with Derek. 
Living life with day of ring. Living life with then a bun Hey! Yes, sir! <laughs> I think that's so funny. How are you doing? I miss you so much. What was my favorite scene? Honestly, any of like the football cheerleading scenes, that was really fun. Like, so for about like two weeks, we spent time at this football field in Toronto, like right outside Toronto actually. And it was mad hot, like, <laughs> like mad hot. It was like, like almost a hundred degrees because it was like summer in Canada, right? And so we're at the football field and um, we were like in these tents with like football players and cheerleaders and just like everyone. And we were playing like card games, like people were sleeping all over the place. We were playing music. It was so much fun. And like just keeping each other company and keeping each other cold <laughs> um, was really fun. And just filming there was, and I felt like we were there for like a month. And that sounds like a bad thing. Like I felt like we were there for a month, but it not like that. Like I didn't want to leave because it was so much fun. And then you move to the next location. So then we filmed like Fired Up after that, which was in a gym. And you're like, oh, I missed the football field. But then you get to the gym and then you're like, oh my God, I just want to spend here. I just want to be here forever. And then you leave the gym and you're like, oh. And then you go to a different location. You're like, I never want to leave here. <laughs> so it was like a cool experience like that. What was the hardest song to long? I think you mean, I understand what you're saying. The, my hardest, the hardest song to learn. Hmm. That's hard. I'd say probably someday, maybe. Um, Stand was really fun because even in the booth, like I got to act like right before we started recording, I got to do like the monologue that, you know, when I'm like screaming at the, um, at the crowd and I'm like, like Zed, like he's your monster, like that whole part. And then the song starts. So when I was recording, when I was recording Stan, I got to do the monologue in the booth and then I went right into the song. So like while I was singing the song, like I was like emotional and like I was in like the place that, and we didn't even record it yet. This was during rehearsal. So like um, when we actually filmed it, I, you know, like remembered going through that process in the recording booth. And then also I had to match my breathing as well to the breast because it's like super close up and you have to like match the, um, breath, but so that was like a challenge, but I loved it. I loved every minute of it. It was so much fun, and even someday too. Like it seems easy to sing. Like when you sing along, it's like fun, but it's actually like very challenging. Um, and that was really fun to do. But we recorded it separately, so like Milo recorded his stuff, and then I recorded my stuff separately. But um, when we first heard it together, like just listening to it come together and like just dancing together, it was so much fun. Yeah, the rehearsal process for some days was so much fun, yeah. Favorite choreography? Hmm, some day was a lot of fun. Fired up was so much fun. Um, that's really hard. I think like the most I got into like a, like the most choreography I got into, that's not correct English, but you know what I'm trying to say. Hey Grace. I think the hardest thing was probably, I mean, the, sorry. The choreography I got the most into was probably the BAM reprise. Like when we're all um, at the block party and everyone's coming together, like right before, like during the credits. Um, I got so into that. Like I was like, BAM oh man, oh man. And the choreographer was like, you have to be less stank face and more like Seabrook. And I was like, oh man, <laughs> it's so funny. So yeah. Why are my eyebrows brown? I don't know. I really don't know. Some people are just, um, have blonde hair and then brown eyebrows. <laughs>
<laughs> Show us ear. I'm dead. What time is it here? It's 3 p.m. Yes, during band they had a trampoline floor. Well, it's not really, it wasn't a trampoline floor. It's called a track mat. So it's basically, you're just bouncing on a big mattress, like a mattress that's extra bouncy. You know what I'm saying? Swag, swag on you. Chilling by the fire while we eating fondue. I don't know about me, but I know about you. So say hello to Rosetto and three, two, swag. <laughs> I just realized what he's saying there. So say hello to falsetto in three, two, swag. And then he goes into falsetto. Ah, wow. Lyrical genius right there. I never even realized that. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> That's really funny. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Love you so much. We are in town where? I thought you left. No way. I'll text you after this, Jerome. Do I like zombies still? Of course I like zombies. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, if you guys have any questions about zombies, let me know. And then I'll go off on a tangent. Trust. <laughs> it's 11 p.m. in the UK. Whoa. That's legitness. I'd like to be... Oh, my favorite member with the cast, let's see. Oh, probably the whole thing, but like, since we were in Toronto, um, all of the cast members are basically from Toronto. So, um, our building had this amazing rooftop pool. And like, the pool was here, and the CN Tower was like, here. And it was amazing. And on weekends, when we weren't filming, we didn't film Saturdays and Sundays. And on Saturday, there was like three Saturdays where we had a pool party. Well, I, yeah, like a, a pool party. And um, we would just dance and go swimming because it was really hot out. We had an amazing view of Toronto. Like you could see the water, you could see the um, CN Tower. It was just amazing. So yeah, that was so much fun. And then we went to out went it we rented out this room and we were with an amazing view still you could still see the cn tower we just blasted music and had so much fun we went up to kylie's room and then we all went out to dinner like it was just an amazing experience and i definitely feel more grown up after that what scene did i mess up the most Ooh, let's see I don't know. I can't quite remember. That's a good question. I really, I cannot remember. Huh. I don't know. That's a good question. Um. Wait, what was I going to say before? I don't know. Who made me laugh the most in the cast? Okay. Well, everyone makes me laugh. Um, but probably Trevor. Or James. But Trevor, I, Trevor like, made me physically cry. So, <laughs> I'm laughing so hard. So, um, yeah. But we always laughed a lot. Like, everyone makes me laugh. Like, Milo is so funny. Kylie's so funny. Carla is. Like, everyone is just so funny in their own way. And we all have, like, we all individually connect to each other and then we're all in one group um which i think is really cool like milo and kylie would hang out and then trevor and i would hang out like me and carla and like trevor and milo and like we all just connected in different ways and i think that's so cool um yeah hey sorry I'm listening to stand hey 
Oh, nobody got mad on set. Um, which is actually really interesting because there was never a dull moment on set. And that sounds like so cliche because like, you're like, okay, there obviously was a dull moment where like something happened. But seriously, there was not. Like I can honestly not mention a time where like people were upset or angry or something. It was just so much fun. Hey. Yes, it was very fun to audition for Zombies. When I read the script for Zombies, I fell in love with the script. Because not only is it about dancing, singing zombies. And I wanted to do like a musical movie for Disney Channel my entire life. Like High School Musical. I watched every day. Like I was obsessed. Um, So the fact that I had an opportunity to be in a new Disney Channel original movie musical mind-blowing so that was already there (laughs) and then it was also about zombies which was so cool like so interesting and new um even though it was supposed to be a pilot in like 2011 and I knew about that as well but you know the idea is just so fresh and new and then when you read it you realize that it's a metaphor for just accepting others not based on what you've heard about them or what they look like, but um, who they are as a person. And it's really cool. I really love the cat, the character, <laughs> the cat, the character Addison, because she really, um, you know, as like a human cheerleader, um, realizes she goes through all this whole process of like, she thinks zombies are bad. Then she meets Zed and she's like, actually, he's really cool. Then she actually like goes in, to their culture and just learns about how they live and how just they're just like everyone else and I think her like character arc and her story is just so interesting and so cool that I was like I really want to play her and I was so passionate about it so um yeah I think Addison is really cool and also like the fact that girls like you know has Addison have Addison to look up to and Eliza and they have Carla Carla, they have Brie to look up to. It's just really, really cool. Um, and I think strong female characters are very important for, like, young girls. Also, I mean, and young boys as well. I mean, if you're a boy and you look up to Addison, that's amazing. And, if and you know, Zed's such a great character to look up to, too. So, I don't know. I think zombies is just all around very important for kids to um, watch and learn from because it's just so important. Um, just... You know, it's not about zombies. Like, zombies are cool. But I think people, for the most part, understand that it's a metaphor for just any different cultures. Like, just because someone comes from a different background or a different culture doesn't mean they're weird or different. Weird, it just means they're different. Um, And you should educate yourself about different cultures. I think it's really cool. Anyway, I just went on a tangent about how much I love zombies, so (laughs) just... Oh, thank you. Yes, I did go to Annie's Playhouse in New Jersey. Mia. Boo, 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 boo. Boo, 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 boo. <laughs> do, 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 do. Have I ever broken a bone or worn a cast? I've never broken a bone, knock on wood. Um, which is kind of crazy. Um, I don't know. I hope I don't break anything. Maybe I'm not adventurous. Um, but yeah, I've never <laughs> broken anything. Ooh, hoo. I've never been to St. Louis, but I would love to go. When I received the call from... When I received the call that I got this, I don't know what that was. I just had the biggest brain fart in my entire life. Um, So when I got the call that I got Addison, I was screaming, crying, because it was a dream come true. Just being involved in Disney Channel at all is just such a humbling and crazy experience. Um, So, 
yeah. Um, I was on set of American Housewife, the show I'm on, actually, and I was screaming. I was screaming and crying. And everyone on set of American, hey, John, we. Um, and everyone on set knew that I, that I was going out for um, zombies. So I was like, I got the call and I like ran into the makeup trailer and I was like, I got it. And they were like, ah! it was crazy. And then at the end of filming, um, I guess people tell people. So at the end, when we were leaving, everyone sang happy birthday to me and they congratulated me that I uh, was doing it. So that was crazy. The people in American Housewife are the most genuine amazing people ever I can't I can't um I've just been so lucky that like people on American Housewife and zombies were so cool um it's crazy crazy yeah and um for my graduation they like I graduated like two three weeks ago maybe and I just like kind of told people and I they were like, congrats. I was like, thank you. And then on the last day of filming, which was last Thursday, um, they did this like whole surprise thing. Well, I'm sure you saw my post, but I was like, what? Craziness. I couldn't believe it. Um, and I had, I literally had no idea. And this one guy named Rick, who's like transpo, like he drives, like he drives us to locations and stuff. He's like a head of um, transportation. He planned the entire thing for like a month. Crazy. I could not, I could not believe it. Um, yeah. Amar! Hi Amar, I miss you so much. My friend Amar is on this show called Night Squad. A Nickelodeon. And he is the most talented human being ever. And you guys should watch it if you haven't already watched it. Because he's really cool. Also, Amar took a dance class with Trevor, um, who plays Bucky, and also Nate, who's a dancer. I, okay, Mark, so um, I was with Nate, uh, who's a dancer on Zombies, and he was like, yo, your friend Amar was at, was standing next to me in the class. And I was like, no way, really? And the video you posted, Nate's standing like right next to you. I was laughing so hard. Anyway, dressed. <laughs> Oh no, every night, baby, in the night, I'm over you. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Which cast member am I the closest to? I don't know. We're all close in our different ways. Like I'm close with every single one of them. Um, Pro Carla, Kylie, and I kind of have like our own like girls group. And we like confide in each other a lot, and we're the three of us are like sisters. Um, so the three of us in Toronto went on a lot of adventures together. So, um, so maybe like Kylie, Carl, and I, like as a group, I don't know. And then Milo and I are very close as well. Um, and then Trevor and I are very close as well. I mean, James, like, we're all very close. But Milo and I are just close because, like, we went through, like, the whole audition process together. Um, and then uh, the scenes that we auditioned with is the one where we meet each other. Um, where, where, uh, where I, like, punch him and it's, like, I'm trying out for the football team and then trying out for a cheer squad. You know, where we first meet in the um, room. And then it's the one where we're on the steps and I'm, like my parents will let me cheer until they meet you. And he goes, then I'll just win him over with my quick wit and charming smile. And then I'm like, ah, uh, no. And then I like run up the steps and he's like, oh, flip a switch. That one, we auditioned with that one as well. And then there was a third one. Um, oh, the third one was at the very end when I'm like, cheerleading will only prove their worst fears that zombies are monsters. I'm like, they think that anyway. <coughs> And then Eliza's like, hey, like, blah, blah, blah. It's like the sabotage thing. And then he does that whole monologue where he's like, you're, <clears throat> you know, that whole thing. And then 
he auditioned with like the Zed monologue in the very beginning and I auditioned with the Addison monologue in the very beginning as well. But like the thing is the reason why Milo and I are close is because like chemistry was so important because like um you know auditioning like they had to make sure the chemistry was right so like we just became best friends right away and we're just friends we're just friends we are just friends I'm from New York hello oh thanks Oh yeah, every night doing something right. Dun, 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 dun. I'm so into you. Tell me that you want me to. Oh Thomas, that's dope. Where about? When I like the zombies too. Of course, I would love the zombies too. Spending time with all those people again. New, playing Addison again. Are you kidding me? I would love nothing more. Beep beep. Beep beep, beep beep. Beep beep. Can I sing Happy Someday? I know it might be crazy, but did you hear the story? I think I heard it, they play girl in the zombie. Oh, tell me more, boy. Sounds like a fantasy. And what could go so wrong with girl and a zombie? You're from the perfect paradise, and I'm living on the darker side. Ooh, I got the feeling if you get to know me. Right from the start, you caught my eye, and something inside me came to life. Ooh, I got a feeling if you get to know me. Someday, this could be, this could be ordinary. Someday, could we be something extraordinary? You and me side by side, out of the world daylight. They laugh, we will do 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 We're gonna be someday, someday, someday. We're gonna be someday. Trust. <laughs> Is your guys' favorite song from the movie Someday? You know what's funny? I love Someday. It's probably... I don't know what's my favorite, but, like, that was definitely incredible to film. And it was really cool. Um, but my year always gives me goosebumps. Every time I listen to it, like, I get goosebumps, like, all... Of, I don't know why. It's weird. I just remember. So, you know when... We're standing in front of like the fence and we're separated like by the fence in my year, like the very end of my year before we walk into, before the bell rings. I remember when we were filming that, I, we all had so much energy. It was like the first week that we were filming. Like we had four weeks of rehearsal. This is the first week we were filming. Hey. Um, and just like doing the choreography with like the camera, the, the cameras were going like this, like doing like wide shots and doing the choreography with like the music blasting and all the energy, like I'll never forget that moment. Like just like the goosebumps and like just everyone around you just being so supportive and so amazing, like it's crazy. It was crazy. I was like, what am I doing right now? <laughs> like what? It's so incredible. And right before we started filming, we would all, start like chanting and we get our energy up and um just like constantly cracking jokes and i also had a double double eh? <laughs> there's this thing in toronto or canada i guess they have this thing called tim hortons i always call it tim norton like the actor <laughs> like yo tim norton's tim hortons or timmy's or whatever they call it and they have these things called double doubles where it's double cream double sugar and i always take my coffee black like, I always say black. But they're like, you have to try double-double. And I drank that. Oh, I was, my energy was off the charts. I think it was the sugar. It might have been the cream. All I get is cream. I don't know what it was. But um, I was sailing. Because I was getting tired. I was like, ooh, like, I need some energy for some dancing right here. 
And then I was like, <laughs> my energy was like, yeah. and I was like, but yeah. <laughs> I was like, ah. <laughs> it was really funny. So if you need some energy, just drink some of that double double, eh? You'll be shut, bud. <laughs> Also, Timmy's had this great sandwich. It was like this chicken sandwich that I always ate. It was so good. Oh, you live in New York? Where do you live in New York? Well, there's Tim Hortons in New York City as well. There's like very little. Because I'm from Manhattan. So there's like very little Tim Hortons. But like upstate New York, I'm sure there's a bunch of Tim Hortons. But like in Canada, like there's one every block. But then there's also Starbucks every block too as well. So like whatever you want pick your poison thank you oh no me one on this car what product do I use for my eyebrows um where's my purse I don't know where my purse is but I actually I don't have anything I don't put anything in my eyebrows but I have this like clear gel because like my eyebrows get like super um like messy and like the hairs like go like everywhere so I um I have this clear gel just to keep everything in place but like my eyebrows like naturally look like that like there's nothing there yeah trust so I have like a gel to just like push them all together Wait, let me see. Ah, BRB. If they laugh, we will say, we gonna be someday. Oh, I don't speak Chinese, I speak Japanese. <laughs> okay, here. This is my bag, and... This is the makeup stuff I have in it. I cannot make up at all, so there's barely anything in here. Okay. Okay, maybe there's a lot in here, but like <laughs> Okay, so this is what I this is what I use, so like I speak Japanese. Um So yeah, so like say your eyebrows look like this, right? Nasty. I have this like clear gel right here and because I don't like to put anything in my eyebrows because like um I don't know because some people like to fill them in but like I don't really want to fill them in gotta keep it as natural as possible you know what I mean so then I use this like clear gel just to put them in place so they you know do that I'm not I'm not a professional makeup artist so I don't I don't know what I'm doing half the time. But you know do some of that. Trust. Then I have this thing. It's like shine powder. What do they do? They go like <laughs> But um I don't know. I kind of just use this if I have any, like, weird stuff going on. Like this. Let's throw that on there. Does that work? Is it better? I don't know if that's better. <laughs> I think it works. That looks better. Maybe. Does that look better? I don't know. <laughs> but sometimes I try some of that right there. Um, oh, can you not read it? <laughs> I don't know how to use it. Don't people do that? It's called Neutrogena Shine Powder Control. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then this is called... Oh, no, it's not. Um, brow set. Oh, this is from MAC, and it's just a clear gel just to put my eyebrows in place because they get crazy. And then I have this that I stole from my mom's purse. Um, it's called 
healthy volume Neutrogena and it's just um, mascara. Um, so I do that. Wait. All right. And that's it. That's my makeup tutorial. Um, hope you guys liked it. So that's what I always do. Like if I'm having, if I'm going out somewhere and I'm like, ooh, gotta look good. I, um, I put on mascara and then I do like the eyebrow gel just to keep them in place. And then I do some of this just so I don't, oh no. Just so I don't get, um, if I get sweaty from dancing all night, it's just kind of like powder just to not look greasy. And that's all I wear. Um, cause I can't do makeup. Sometimes I try to do like eyeliner. Just can't do it. Just can't, can't makeup. But, cause when I go to events, I usually have either my friend do it or, oh, I do have it next to my eye. Wait, where? Maybe like in here. Yeah. Well, I have my friend do it or like I get my makeup professionally done because I cannot make up. So yeah, there's this guy named Anton. He's the best makeup artist because um, I can't do it. And then if I'm just going out with friends or doing something, I'll... D Wait, where? Wait, I don't see it. Oh, here? Ah, whatever. Um, yeah, so whenever I have my right eye, I can Oh, is it this? Oh, my God. Yes, please. I would love to hang out. So, yeah. So, I do this and then this and then this. And then sometimes I get it professionally done because I can't make up. There you go. There's just a turn. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. So if I go out with friends, like, I usually don't wear anything at all. Like, I'll just throw on some mascara. Oh, and then you got to have lip gloss. <laughs> there you go. There's the makeup tutorial. I have a darker one that I usually put on. And there you go. And then I also have this. It's gardenia. <laughs> and it smells like flowers. It smells like heaven. <sighs> it smells so good. Do I know Payne Meyer? Yes, I know me Meyer. He's dope. Yes, I love the mashup of Someday and Chill Like a Villain. It's so, it's so cute. Let's see what else. This is like a makeup like, what's in my bag? Let's talk about Zombies the Movie. Yes, let's talk about Zombies the Movie. I'm down for that. What do you want to know? I'll, I'll answer your questions. Oh, this one's better. Let's do this. Boom. Now you're ready for the day. <laughs> okay, so then I also have this like, this bag that also can charge your phone. Oops, okay, nope. And I put all my makeup in it. Or like, makeup, not really. Those three things. And, um, oh. Okay. And so it also charges your phone. You just charge it, um, like so, and then it charges your phone on the go. <laughs> Bars. And then, this is my bag. This is um, some glasses, you know, some blog out in the haters. And um, my friend gave me a Sephora gift card for uh, my graduation, so I got to use that up real quick. Then I have some gum. You always need gum. I am obsessed with gum, so I always like to have one. In my, let me just, let me tell you something, you're gonna really try. I'm gonna 
take these off. <laughs> and then, there's my wallet. Oh! And this is, <laughs> what do people do? <laughs> it's called Naked Illuminated. Just like a naked palette or something. And it's like that. And there's like a mirror. But it's just sparkles. And I always put it like on my face like this. And it looks, it just makes your face sparkle. And then you put it on your collarbones, put it on your hands. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And these are <laughs> these are just uh airpods. They work really well. And got some band aids, got some Polaroid. That's really it. Trust. <laughs> oh, I also got this thing from Little Tokyo. It's so cute and basically the stomach like cleans your phone. So cute. Trust and that's what in my bag. So comment down below, subscribe, uh, leave a comment, rate this video, tell all your friends, buy my merch and have a nice day. <laughs> oh. Let me tell you something you can really trust. Everybody's got a way. That note is so low. Sophia kills it. Oh. I need a jack feet. You need to walk around, creep, creep, stuff. Chest. So, that was it. Some days on Disney right now? No way. That's awesome. You know, I don't know what my favorite song with a sentence do is, because there's so many really good ones. Chilling like a villain's really good. So my TV sister, Julia Butters, is so cute and she's obsessed with Descendants and zombies as well. But she's like when Descendants 2 first came out, she's obsessed. So we had dance parties to Descendants all the time. And one of her favorite songs was Chilling Like a Villain, What's My Name? Um, so we danced to those a lot. Also, um, from the first one, um, uh, did I mention? That one's so good. Okay. Okay. So I have to go. Um, <laughs> um I'm gonna call you guys later i'm gonna definitely do another live soon um but yeah thanks for chilling out with me love you guys so much have an amazing day stay positive trust <laughs>